Do you want to get my Bulwarker content early and without advertisements like these? Consider becoming a $5 Patreon. Patreons get my new Bulwarker content one month before YouTube. Two new videos every month including many workouts. Higher tiers include access to real life vlogs, behind the scenes and exclusive videos that I've never uploaded to YouTube. Donations will be used to improve the quality of my videos. For more information, check my Patreon. A frequently asked question is how often should you be bulwarkering or use isometrics in general? It's commonly said that you can use the bulwarker more often than free weights. And this is true in a sense. The bulwarker compared to free weights is not as stressful for your joints. Joint problems are for many a limiting factor for how often they'll work out, especially for older people or when you work out for a longer time. So let's say you would work out three times as a beginner. Then you could work out four times a week with the bull worker or isometrics. Think of gymnasts for example. Their program consists for a large part of isometrics. And they work out more often than any other type of athlete I know. A beginner can use it four times a week, an intermediate athlete five times a week and a serious athlete six times a week. I know some people think you can use the bull worker every day and they're not completely wrong but you're better off giving your body some uh, full rest at least one day a week for better recovery. If you do wish to work out on the seventh day of the week, then I'd recommend you to only train muscles that you would otherwise not train with this device. So how often should a muscle be trained? With free weights it's usually two, three times a week and maybe four times for larger muscle groups like the legs and the lats. But only if, you're a, if you are a serious athlete. Here as well, I'd say you can train a little bit more often um, than you would otherwise do with free weights. Let's say you would train a muscle group two times a week with dumbbells. You can train them three times a week with the bull worker. Or four times if you'd otherwise train them three times. Only for larger muscle groups with the elite athlete example, I'd stick with four times a week. Unless you want to cause overreaching for a certain muscle group, in which case up to five times a week is fine for a short period of up to a month. Realize that very significant results will be reached if a muscle group is trained two times a week. For people that want to gain more strength, working out a muscle more often than that would be beneficial. So how long should you work out? Well, I'm kind of a crazy guy when it comes to this. I can work out five times a week, two hours a day for many months. And that's with weights included. However, most beneficial considering time among proper recovery, training about an hour up to 90 minutes should be optimal. However, this is typical for free weights. Many bulwarker exercises are compound exercises, meaning that you can target more muscles in less time. A full body workout can technically be done in as little as 30 minutes, even less if you only focus on the most significant muscle groups. However, we have to consider one more thing, the spring strength. I explain more about springs in this video, be sure to check it out, link is in the description. The way I see it, you can do two main types of workouts with the bull worker. The first is mostly a pump workout, where you use a lighter spring or a medium spring for larger muscle groups to get them pumped up. Essentially, this is a bodybuilder workout. A typical workout could last around 45 minutes up to an hour. The other type is a strength workout, where you use a heavier spring, maybe even a black one for the larger muscle groups. Here proper rest during each set is important and a workout could easily span over a time of 90 minutes. If a muscle is sore, let it recover properly. There is no point in working a muscle more than two days in a row, unless overreaching is a goal, which is not something that should be done for long periods of time. These are the most basic rules for when you create your own program. I hope this video was helpful. This was the fifth day of Bulwarker Week. Two more days to go and four days if you are a $5 or more Patreon. Thanks for watching.